My name is Dr. Jekyll, and I am one of the thousands of brilliant and reputable scientists that have signed on to be part of the consensus on global warming, particularly anthropogenic global warming. That is, that mankind is the primary culprit in this most unfortunate situation. Now let me say that climate science is not at all affected by the stolen emails from the CRU at East Anglia University in England. The science behind global warming, anthropogenic global warming, is firmly rooted in a consensus of scientific conclusion based on years of solid and unbiased research. Anyone who would suggest otherwise is only in denial of the facts. We scientists have paid a great price for bringing this unhappy news to the world, but it is our duty as scientists to do so. We are sworn to be unbiased and to bring the facts together in the best way that our training allows us to do. Why, only yesterday, I had a terrible accident in the lab where I was analyzing fragments from meteorites that had fallen to Earth, trying to determine how CO2 levels in space differ from those on the Earth. Most unfortunately, I inhaled some of the fragments in my lungs but gladly, I don't seem to be suffering any ill effects. Of course, CO2 being the poison that it is, you never know what might begin to develop. I just hope that I... I hope... I hope that nothing starts to happen. Hello. I'm... Mr. Hyde, the decline. <laughs> yeah, that's me, Mr. Hyde, the decline. Now let me tell you something. We cannot allow, we cannot allow true science to come forth because you see, it's an inconvenient truth. It's an inconvenient truth that the world is really not warming, that in fact the sun is in its final cycle of all of the sunspots that occur. <laughs> and, and that the whole solar system is getting hotter a little bit. But, you know, we, it's, it's an inconvenient truth for us to admit that. So, therefore, we must hide the decline. Now, let me tell you something. There is, there is a, a thing that's called groupthink. And what you have to do is you have to get the people to believe the lie. And the way you do it is you, first of all, must suppress any dissenting science, any dissenting disagreements. So therefore, what you must do is marginalize it. Make it look like those other scientists are crazy. <laughs> and then you must make it so that... Uh, uh, so that all of the science that we are purporting, it makes sense. But here's the thing. Nobody's going to check up on it. All you have to do is keep repeating the mantra, the lie. Say, there's a consensus. There's a consensus. The science is sound. The science is sound. <laughs> Just keep saying that. The world is warming. The globe is getting hotter. <laughs> yes. And talk about big waves coming and smashing people. After all, we know that people respond to fear. <laughs> yes, that's what they respond to. Fear. So you must give them fear. No truth. Because after all, it's not about truth. It's about plausible deniability. So therefore, all you have to do is confuse the truth with facts that nobody will check on. For example, all you have to do is say that there's thousands of scientists who agree. Now, who is going to check on that? Nobody will. And they assume that you're not lying because, after all, you're a scientist or you're a newscaster or you're any other official. And you say, there's a consensus and everybody will believe it because it's too hard to check. <laughs> Exactly. Nobody wants to know the truth. They just want to believe whatever they're told because to get to the truth requires work. It requires debate. It requires intelligence. It requires thinking and study. And it requires dealing with the dissenters because truth is not easy to come up with. 
because after all, the universe is quite complex. And we don't know as much as we would like you to believe we know. No, we don't. But that's okay, because if we admit the truth, nobody will pay us, and then we'll have to go work at a freaking cafe making coffee. <laughs> yes. So, listen carefully. We are going to implement the New World Order. It's going to take over the world. And this global warming issue is universal. It touches every nation. Everyone's afraid of water. Everybody knows what happens with the tsunamis. That was very fortunate that that happened. That's one of the main things that gave us the idea. You see, it's very important that people get on board with this because we don't want to fight them. We just want to make them dull. <laughs> put in uh, the ingredients into the water, such as fluoride. Spray the air with mycoplasma and with other interesting little creatures made in the laboratory. <laughs> yes, believe me, there are enough of us scientists that know what's going on. But quite frankly, we don't like all the people on this planet. We don't like them at all. And we are looking forward to an elite world with only the intelligent people surviving and all the useless eaters being eliminated. <laughs> uh, yes, that's right. Well, you know what? I think I need to go because I feel the effects of this, of this, uh, of this drug wearing off. I don't know what it is. I, something from space uh, caused the truth, the truth to come out. Ah, damn it. Why did I say all this? I, uh, oh, this is Mr. Hyde the Decline. Sorry. Um, where was I? Oh, yes. Um, anyways, the science is sound. And, um... That's all we can say, is that there is a large consensus and, and that uh, the science is settled and, and that uh, these emails that show the nefarious actions of just a few of us, even though they happen to be the lead guys, but anyways, ignore that fact because um, we are telling you the truth. You must believe us. You must believe us. The world is getting hotter, hotter, and you must allow us to pass the laws that will constrict the countries, the certain countries, to not, um, well, it'll tax them. It'll tax them, yes. It'll, it'll, it'll uh, bring in revenue and, and all of that. So please, join with us to establish the truth. And the truth is that we scientists have your best interests at heart because we know that you're the ones who pay the bills. Yes. Anyways, this is Dr. Jekyll, one of the brilliant scientists who is part of this consensus that you're hearing about, signing off. And I do hope that the right action is taken in Copenhagen for the sake of us all, for the sake of the Earth.